Hey everybody, Neil here, the Rider Guider. Thanks for tuning in today. A couple of months ago, I did a review on the weatherproof wireless charging head from Quadlock. I'm only, uh, as I say, two months in and I'm having to do another review. Stay tuned to find out why. Hey everybody, right, yes, of course, I'm back with another Quadlock review. Yes, I am, of course, a self-confessed Quadlock fanboy. However, for people that didn't see my original wireless charging head review, the weatherproof Quadlock wireless charging head review, here's version one, which of course is what I got and purchased last June in 2020. Now, that is the original product and yeah, I give it a bit of a hard time. I wasn't happy with the product. I was much more used to quad lock supplying a better item than they had done on this occasion, on that occasion. And I was disappointed in it. There's no point in doing a review and just blowing smoke up its ass if it's not quite up to standard. I ain't gonna do bogus reviews. If something's good, it'll get a good review. If it's a bit of a poor showing, it will get, I will say so in my opinion. And there you go. Now, what I'm going to do is just quickly show you why I didn't like the original version. It was advertised, as we know, as a weatherproof wireless charging head. Now, this is the connection here at the back of the original item. This is the cable that comes with. If I show you here, I plug it in. There's no way in a gazillion years is that item waterproof, dustproof, it is just going to be a letdown. The other problem we had, of course, was the fact that some of the uh, smartphones were getting damaged camera mechanisms because of the vibrations from motorcycles. Now, Quadlock did a fantastic job of inventing the Quadlock vibration dampener, which has cured that problem. Um, what it did possibly do, though, is have a bit of a knock-on effect. Because of that connection here, when the vibration dampener was working, it was moving the product here and it created for me a bit of a loose connection here and I kept losing power. It wouldn't fit because it was moving about. Let's have a quick look at version two. If I just disconnect that and show you what they've done. This is splendid. It's still, for all intents and purposes, the same product from the front. But if you look on the back, let's have a quick look at this. It is. Of course, the great build quality. This is all aluminium backing. We've got the lovely Torx fixings to fasten it all together. But as you can see, we've got this lovely shroud here. Now, what they've done is create a shield for the USB-C power inlet. Not only have they done that, they've improved by some mark the actual power cable as you can see it's slightly bigger in its width and thickness but it's better quality and it's got these little rubber seals it's got two little rubber seals there so when you push it home like such like that not only does it seal right in the back here lovely that shield there gives it a little bit more support it isn't going to come loose over time it isn't going to create wear and tear over time much much better this has addressed everything that i criticized it for in my first review now there's nothing else you need to know it works and it ain't going to fail like the the original it's going to be as they advertise weatherproof which is absolutely splendid that is a massive improvement and uh, it's what they should have produced in the first place but version two for 2021 bang done let's talk about customer service as i said i bought it in june and that was 2020 april 10 months in i contacted them and i went look i'm still struggling with it i'm still a bit upset that i've paid 140 australian dollars which is what it cost me it's a bit of a chunk of money for something that's not perfect what can you do to help me wasn't expecting 
massive refund. I don't know what I was expecting really. I was just letting them know that I wasn't totally happy. Full refund, $140. Bang, bosh, straight back into my PayPal. I was like, that is outstanding. How good a company is that that looks after their customers as well as that. Now, of course, I went online and bought version two with my $140. Better still, reduced price, the retail hasn't increased. It's gone down $30. The price now is 110 Australian. Wherever it is, in, you, wherever you are in the world, your prices will might come down as well. But they've gone down to $110. I had a discount code, banged that in, I ended up paying $98. I'm $42 up for my experience. That is great. Of course, I spent it on more quad look stuff, which I'll come to shortly. But um, overall, great customer service massively improved product it's a no-brainer if you want to charge your phone on your bike get the vibration dampener get the quad lock wireless weatherproof wireless charger it's a mouthful but it's a good thing and um, you can't go on with it now they've improved it thank you quad lock for your great customer service and uh, we'll go from there see you on the next one